Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to share this video with you. I know there's been a lot of interest and in this video I'm going to be focusing on designer alternatives. So these are going to be items that are much more affordable and much more accessible than some of the more mainstream luxury designer brand items that we share on this channel. And nothing in this video is sponsored, nothing is ever sponsored unless I say it is, I'm very transparent about that. And I'm going to also do some quick price comparisons for fun to see if you were to choose the alternative how much you would save and so that's why there's a calculator sitting out here but let's get started okay I have cleared away the background so that we can focus in on each of the items we're gonna be talking about one by one and we're starting with the little items here these are my two fragrances you guys know I don't have a big perfume collection but the ones that I keep I absolutely adore this one you might be sick of hearing me talk about because I rave about it all the time now this is the Baccarat Rouge 540. This is the 2.4 fluid ounce size, and I absolutely love this. It's a gorgeous, delicious scent. I thought, honestly, this was all hype when I heard other people talk about it until I got it myself, and I realized the hype is real. <laughs> so this is one of only three perfumes that I own, and it's definitely my favorite these days. Uh, but it's quite expensive, so this goes for $325. I also have the Travel Trio set, which is a little bit less, maybe about $190. But still, both are pretty expensive. They're a bit of a splurge. I'll link everything down below if you're interested in doing your own research so that you don't have to go hunting for them. In fact, everything featured I'll link down below in my description box, but I'm going to be talking prices. We're going to do some fun math, some calculations to see how much you could save if you go with an alternative um, that's not the high-end designer brand. This one here also is another perfume that I enjoy. This is from YSL and it's the Mon Paris. It has kind of like a sweet floral scent which is a little bit different from the Baccarat Rouge 540 so depending on my mood. This was actually a gift from my friend so it's special to me. Um, so I'm happy to report that I discovered this company recently called Dossier. I think that's how you pronounce it. And they actually have premium fragrances for much, much less in terms of prices and I figured out the reason they're able to do this is because they're direct to consumer so they're an online company and they're probably able to cut out a lot of the middlemen and be able to you know uh, pass the cost savings on to us as the consumer so I went on there and I specifically went to look if there were any similar fragrances to these two that I could try out and this is what the packaging looks like and I'm really pleased because I found this one here called Ambery Saffron and you can see here on this information card by the way I feel like all fragrances should come with an information card like this how handy is this it tells you all about the notes and the concentration and just all this information that I like to know as a consumer Anyway, so this one here, it specifically says inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540. So of course I had to choose it and you're not going to believe the price. Gosh, this one here is $49. $49. It's 1.7 fluid ounces. So you got a good amount of fluid in here. You can use this perfume for a while, months, maybe a year. And I mean, look, let me get my calculator. 325 for this one here and we're not comparing apples to apples because this one is slightly larger in terms of how many ounces but let's just get a sense so 325 for this one and the dossier version is 49 so you'd be saving roughly about 276 dollars not even including taxes so you can buy many bottles of this for the price of one of these. So if you're on the fence about Baccarat Rouge 540 because it's a bit of a splurge, you may wanna try something like this to see if you even like this kind of family of scents. So in terms of how similar they are, I did my research and it looks like there are four key notes that they share. So they're definitely gonna be in the same family or vicinity. Jasmine in particular, saffron, uh, cedarwood, and also amber. So definitely those will define how these two show up. It'll also depend on your body chemistry, of course, because we all know fragrance will show up a little bit differently on each person, but I definitely would put these two in the same family. And I love the fact that it was specifically inspired by the Baccarat Rouge 540. Like they had that in mind. For $49, you really can't beat it. And then the other one in here, I'll show you is also inspired by this one, the Mon Paris. So you can see here, it's called Fruity Brown Sugar. I actually love how the names are so intuitive. And 
This is what it looks like. By the way, I really like this kind of clean, minimalist style bottle. You guys know I love that aesthetically. And I have to show you, the top is magnetic. Let me show you one more time. Isn't that cool? It's a nice little touch. I feel like this is really cute. So it reminds me of the Hermes lipstick cases, which I've featured. They all have this magnetic. I just think it's such a, um, I don't know, it's chic and stylish and simple. And this one here, <laughs> you won't believe the price. I told you that for the standard larger size bottle of this one, it'd be about $102. This one here is $29. How do you ever get a high quality perfume for $29 anywhere else? So if you're interested, I definitely would recommend trying out Dossier. None of this is sponsored. You guys know that nothing in this video is sponsored. If I'm able to get a promo code, I will try my best and then I'll put it down in my description box. But if I'm not able to get a promo code, these are still amazing prices, right? So hopefully this is helpful information to you all, especially if you're looking for designer alternatives. I feel like this would be a fun experiment. Okay, the next category, we're moving into shoes. You can see my Gucci Brixton loafers sitting here. And I also wanted to show you these as the alternative. I've done a whole video on this. I'll link it up above if you missed it. But I got these first and then I got the Gucci's and they're both amazing. So these are the Sam Edelman Lorraine loafers. Very, very similar as you can see compared to the Gucci Brixton in terms of style, the leather. These here are $850. They're Gucci's and the leather is absolutely amazing. These here go for about $130. I got them on Zappos. I love Zappos because they have such great customer service and the return policy is really generous. So I got them there thinking I wasn't sure. I wound up keeping both basically. So this right here is my calculation. I'm not putting these down because they're a little dirty. $720 price difference between the two. Now, if you're a huge Gucci fan and you absolutely want Gucci loafers, then go for it. Of course, you know, if that's what you want. But if you're looking for a Gucci-esque kind of inspired loafers that look similar and are comfortable but will not be, you know, break the bank, these are a really nice alternative. They're really cushioned here. Um, it's I've worn them, so they're a little dirty, but uh, you can see that's what it looks like on the bottom. These here are also gorgeous, and they come with... Uh, all leather soles, so I actually got them resold with rubber. You can see the tips here. I actually talk about that in that previous video. Um, which ones am I reaching for more, to be honest with you? I'm actually reaching for the Gucci's more. I think the leather on the Gucci's mold to my feet better, but I will say that they're both comfortable. Um, the Sam Edelman's are more padded because they just are. They have cushion, whereas the Gucci ones are all leather and they don't have much padding can see here um, but they're both great so if you're looking for an alternative I would definitely recommend the Sam Edelman Lorraine loafers okay next let's talk about this cutie this is the Louis Vuitton mini pochette mine is in the dummy a bin this is the ever so popular little SLG that is always sold out and the prices have gone up so much this currently retails for $540 and even if you wanted to make that splurge it's very very difficult to find this both in the boutiques and on the LV website so I was really happy to be able to find the coach alternative so if you go onto the coach outlet website they are having a major sale for 60% off so the original price on this mini pochette is $158 and it's now going for $63.20 so that's a huge savings they have it available in black red and pink I feel like the red is super cute I don't know why if it's because I'm in like Valentine's Day mode but either color or whatever color you choose it's really nice and I looked at the dimensions and, and the dimensions are almost exactly the same like almost exactly the same so this one here also is in this sort of like shimmery gold color if you're into that also 60% off I'll link everything down below if you use my links I do get a small commission for finding and sharing the items but you absolutely do not have to use my links it's just a way to support me and then, of course, if we're talking about Louis Vuitton, I have to show the pochette accessoire. So many of you have this and so many of you want it. And this, too, also very, very difficult to find both in the boutiques and online. And the price has gone over $1,000 now. I believe it's retail $1,050, which is 
wow. Um, but it is such a great piece, so versatile. I took off the original Vachetta strap because I love to mix and match and play with other chains and straps, which I'll be showing you in a minute. Um, but this one here, I found also from Coach, a very similar item. This is the Nolita 19 size, so it's gonna be a little bit bigger than the mini pochette version that I just showed you. Also on sale on the outlet website, and it's all very slow right now when I try to pull it up. I think it's because I don't know if it's just me or because everyone likes to flood over to a sale, but I did share this on my Instagram stories just about an hour ago, and I also posted it on my YouTube community page. Whenever I find really good deals and I don't want you guys to miss out, I always post quickly on my YouTube community page so you don't have to wait for the video to come out. And I just feel like some of you are on this website or many people are on the website and it's sort of crashing and slowing down. But anyway, this one here is the black version and it is originally $188 dollars but it's going for 75.20 so it's a 60 percent off savings and it really does look very similar to the pochette accessoire the only thing is it is about seven and a half inches in length here on this one and i measured this here i know i'm very close right now but just bear with me so I measured this one here. It is about nine inches in length. And so the coach version is going to be just one and a half inches shorter in length, but it'll still fit your phone. I have a pretty large phone and I know it'll fit. Um, but the other dimensions are very, very similar. They have the hardware on both sides so that you can use it as a wristlet, as a crossbody, as uh, with other straps. So I do love that versatility, which is why I love the pochette in the first place. So let me show you, whoops. This one here also is really fun. It's a color block version. And again, I don't know if it's because Valentine's Day is around the corner, but I think it's just very cute around this time of year. It's got cream, red, and white. If you're into color block, the colors are really pretty. Going for 75, 20, again, 60% off. And then there's also this one here, the canvas. Now, I don't know why the canvas is not as much on sale. It's 47% off instead of the 60% off on the leather ones. But if you're into the coach canvas, you've got these versions as well. So I'll link everything down below in the description box. Before we move on, I also want to share with you from one of my favorite companies, Dress Up Your Purse. I get a lot of chains and accessories and straps from them. They also have these mini pochette and pochette accessoire alternatives as well. So if you want to go check out their site, I'll link some of my favorites down below. But you see here, there's the mini pochette size, there's the larger pochette size, and these are all, believe it or not, treated lambskin. So it's actually really nice and luxurious. And they're all under $100, well under $100, depending on what size you're looking for. I was actually going to share, you, share with you this one. It looks like it's sold out, but I know that they always restock very regularly. So it will come back. I'm going to stop here and show you what I have. This one here, Live in the Flesh, it is my very own key pouch from Dress Up Your Purse, and it's in that dreamy lambskin. It's actually from the Dream Collection. If you look at the Dream Collection on their website, you'll see all kinds of beautiful iridescent rainbows like this. And I was going to mention that this is a really nice alternative to the Louis Vuitton key pouch. It is very close in size, very, very similar in design. If I pull out my keys, it has the same sort of uh, gold chain and the lobster clasp. You're all familiar, I'm sure. And it is a fraction of the price. Again, it's sold out at the moment, but they always restock. So I'll try to alert you when they do restock. I have a promo code for Dress Up Your Purse. It is a 15% off promo code. It's always down below in my des description box, so you might want to check that out. And then I also wanted to share with you an alternative for the LV Kirigami set. So for those of you who are a fan, let me just open that up here. This one here is the popular Kirigami set. It's currently going for $745 retail. It's three beautiful envelope shaped pouches and I basically got this one it was all when I was kind of obsessing over the rainbow iridescent collection from Chanel so bear with me but the sizing is nearly identical this is the larger one this is the medium one look at the inside it's so pretty it's gold and the smaller one I don't have because my daughter took it from me so I only have two I don't know what she did with the other one this one is my favorite one the medium size one uh, because it actually fits passports and it fits all of my family's pa passports we're a family of four and it fits perfectly I do think one more could fit as well so when we travel this is really handy dandy to keep all of my passports together before this I was actually just putting a rubber band around the passports to keep them together and this is definitely a much nicer solution 
And the beauty about Dress Up Your Purse um, is if you order, you can get the set or you can just pick and choose which size you want. So you don't have to get the set, right? So if you just wanted the medium one, you can just get this one. And they also have this other one called um, Honey Vachetta, I think. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, these ones here. So these are so cute. These are mini charms, but this one here is what I wanted to show you and it's sold out. This also comes in a set of three or you can pick and choose your size. It's a Vachetta leather. And I don't know why when I think of like passports and travel, I think of Vachetta maybe because of the Louis Vuitton Speedy and the Vachetta on it and it ages over time and then you have memories of where you took it. I don't know, I'm being overly sentimental, but this one also is sold out. A lot of these items from Dress Up Your Purse are really popular. And and Mel, who's the owner, she's super sweet. She will restock regularly. So hopefully this comes back, but I wanted to share that with you as well. Okay, and here are some of the straps and chains that I want to share with you. These are just some of my favorites, and they're all from Dress Up Your Purse. Again, I have a promo code, and I'll try my best to link a bunch of these down below. But if you just kind of browse around the website, you'll find the ones that you really like. I put these on my LV bags, and I like to mix and match, particularly my push it accessoire. But this one here is the Vachetta leather one, and this is the oval chain, and this is the cotton larger strap. I don't know how to describe it. It has a vachetta on it. I think these are great. And the reason why I'm featuring these in this video is because we're talking about designer alternatives, right? And we went to LV, my sister-in-law and I recently, well, a few months ago, and she wanted to get a replacement strap and it was a couple hundred dollars. And nowadays also, um, these wider kind of broader straps are really in, they're really popular. And some of you are going on to places like Fashion File just to buy the strap from LV. And I know that it says Louis Vuitton in big letters across but other than that it's just like a cotton strap and they're going for hundreds of dollars and these are really much more affordable and they're really good quality I can attest to them so I definitely want to show these as well Okay, next, this is my last Louis Vuitton item I'll be talking about, and then we're gonna move on to Hermes and YSL and another brand. But um, obviously this is my beloved Pochette Matisse. I've had her now for a couple of years, and she was my very first Louis Vuitton bag, and just, I adore this beautiful, beautiful classic silhouette with the lock and the compartments. You guys know I won't go into too much detail. I've done so many videos on this bag. The best alternative that I have found to this Pochette Matisse is from Coach, but they discontinued the bag. It's actually the Coach Cassie. I have a brand new one in here. Let me explain. I bought this as a gift for my mom. I think I even featured it on this channel saying I was gifting it to my mom. I did a quick comparison of these two. And then she decided she wanted the Coach Rambler 16, the same bag as me. So she gave this back to me and I got her the Coach Rambler 16 because it was just smaller and better for her to use. So I'm basically left with this. Then I tried to sell it in my vlog sale about a year ago. Somebody wanted it, she paid for it. We both discovered at the same time it was on sale at the time on the Coach website for 30% off. I could not in good conscience take her money. So I sent it back to her, refunded her, and then she went ahead to the Coach website and bought the one on sale so long story short I'm still with this bag and it's just been sitting here all wrapped up brand new in the back of my closet if anyone is looking for a Louis Vuitton pochette Matisse alternative and are you know you're really in love with the coach Cassie I know it's very very hard to find they're not available anymore unless you get it used from places like Poshmark and even there I notice they are marking up because they know it's hard to find um, it's a beautiful black pebbled leather. It's got the brass C turn lock here. I mean, look at all this. If you want this bag, I will sell it to you at the same retail price. Um, and I guess I'll include shipping also if you're in the US, that's fine. I just don't want to hang on to this for too long. But look at the similarities. It's got, I don't want to mess with this too much, but it's got the same top handle. It has back pocket which is so important it has the lock it has the silhouette the size is nearly identical I think I think it's like exactly the same oh my gosh I don't know who copied who but yeah the size is exactly the same and the compartments you've got here right one two three zippered compartment. I actually think there are more compartments in the coach Cassie I'm not gonna go into much detail because you can you know you can do your own research on this bag if you're not familiar but I think most people are familiar it is like 
There are a million videos out there showing how similar it is to the pochette Matisse, um, but I have no use for this and my mom has given it back to me. So as you can see, tags are still attached, brand new, completely. I would just sell it for retail. I'm happy to include shipping again if you're in the US. So I um, wanted to share, share this with you, but there is another bag from another brand that I wanna share with you as well, because I know this is not something that you can buy right now in the stores. So hang on a minute. Okay, this one here, also brand new. Oh yeah, yeah, I got this uh, late last year when it first launched or first released because I wanted to check it out. This bag here, as you can see, is new and it's from Rebecca Minkoff, which is a New York based brand just like Coach. And I was always curious about Rebecca Minkoff, but none of the designs really spoke to me until this one here. I've got to peel everything off. This is... Um, an updated version of their love bag, which was super popular and like sold out for a long time. This is now called the Love 2, T-O-O. Very similar silhouette. You can see here, it's got the brassy hardware. It says Rebecca Minkoff, very subtle. You unlock it. I don't know, I saw this on Instagram and I was like, let me try this out. And I did my, my research and I loved the shape and the compartments, as you can see here. I have not seen any reviews on this bag at all, but it's already sold out in black. So there's a wait list and I think it's now another bestseller of theirs. So the inside is leather, it looks like. I think it's leather, right? It feels so nice. It feels really, really soft and smooth. And yeah, I just thought this is a really nice alternative. It's got a zippered compartment in there. This is not a full on review, but I just wanted to show you and there is also a back pocket and a removable strap. Strap. This is a very thick strap. The Coach Cassie comes with a strap too, if you're not aware. Uh, very thick, so it's gonna be really comfortable when it sits on your shoulder and it's removable. And there you have it. It says Re Rebecca Minkoff again on the back. Back pocket, oh, smooth, really soft lining. I don't know, I think it's really um, classic in terms of the silhouette, but it's actually a little bit bigger. This is what I discovered when I got it. It's a little bit bigger than the Pochette Matisse and the Coach Cassie. So let's see if I can show you. See that? It's about an inch, maybe an inch and a half taller, and then maybe a centimeter or two longer, and also a little bit wider. So it's hard for me to show you, but here you go. It's similar, but I would say that the Rebecca Minkoff bag is just a tad bigger all around and it's also heavier because it's leather the coach cassie is also going to be heavier because i think because this is canvas canvas is just naturally lighter but this is heavier and maybe because the lock is like all brass here it's heavy so for me this bag is a little bit bigger and heavier than i expected and so that's why i left it untouched and new um, like I said, it's all sold out and there's a wait list. If you're interested in this, I'm happy to sell it to you. I'm happy to sell it to you at whatever price it's selling at or even a, a slight discount because there's no sense in me hanging on to this, but it's a beautiful bag. If you look it up on Instagram, you'll see gorgeous photos. I mean, let's not do that. Let's not go and create temptation for ourselves. But that's what happened with me uh, late last year. And that could probably explain why also I started feeling like, oh, whoa, I need to slow down and, you know, appreciate all the handbags that I have and stop adding more, 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 more of the same, same, same. Um, if you watch my recent videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's move on. Okay, next let's talk about the YSL Toy Lulu bag. Here's mine in the black lab skin with the silver hardware. I've had this bag for a while now. I've done many videos. It is one of my most comfortable, most smushy, most cushiony bags. It's my kid's favorite one. And it has all these little compartments inside and the removable strap. But the price on this has gone up quite a bit as well just like all the other brands with the price increases. And I have to say, I'm surprised when I just checked, it's now $1,590. I think I got this when it was about $1,000. So now it's $1,590 retail. And so if you're looking for a more affordable alternative, I do really like the Tory Burch Kira collection. It's got that similar kind of chevron look to it and it's much cheaper. So this one here is $328. Let me just 
pull this up so I can zoom in. Um, obviously this one is in a pink color, has the gold hardware and yeah, $328. So you'd be saving over $700 by choosing this alternative. And this one also is like a dark foresty olive green, which is really pretty. I'm looking directly on the Tory Burch website. I love to order directly from the brand if I can, because I feel like the quality is more consistent and also the packaging is more beautiful the, uh, versus ordering from the department stores but I don't see black on here so I found the black one on Bloomingdale's same price and here it is I think it's just really pretty compact and also puffy and smushy so it's not identical by any means but definitely is very similar so I think it's a great alternative Okay, the last bag that I want to mention is from Fendi, and this is the Peekaboo, the very iconic, classic Peekaboo collection, very popular. I specifically want to talk about the mini size, but we all know there are many different sizes. I happen to have purchased the medium size a few months ago, and it didn't work out for me because of glazing issues. I still kind of sigh when I think about that, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. But the mini size, as you can see, right here there are a lot of different varieties and it's starting at about forty three hundred dollars retail and here i want to show you an alternative this is from tori birch and it's called the lee radswell bag and this collection has been very popular this is the petite size which is probably the most comparable to the mini peekaboo size this color in particular i absolutely love you guys know i love caramels and camels this one is called tiramisu and it has essentially a very similar peekaboo look to it as you can see here, right? And this one, believe it or not, is only $648. So let's just do some quick math again because we were having fun with that before. $4,300 for the Fendi Mini Peekaboo minus $648. So uh, that's a difference of $300, oh, not $300, $3,652, not including taxes, right? So you could have so many different colors you could even have like five six plus different colors of the lee radswell bag and it still wouldn't be the same price as one peekaboo if you like the style it has the same top handle the compartments the droopiness in the front lots of different colors here this one's really pretty as well it's the new cream color actually the peekaboo that i bought was kind of like a pink cream so I'm getting flashbacks um and then this one here is a pink it's called meadow sweet beautiful color very feminine and then there's this one, which happens to be their bestseller, and it's black with the stitching showing on the outside, and there is also suede in the compartment, so it's really kind of um, intricate, but for the same price, for $648. So I thought this was also a great alternative. I've also heard many, many people talk about how the Lee Radswell bag reminds them of the Hermes Kelly. Now, when it's open like this and kind of droopy, I feel like it's definitely giving off peekaboo vibes, but I could see that when it's closed... I could understand why people might say it reminds them of the Hermes Kelly. And let me show you what it looks like when it's closed. Here's how it looks closed, buttoned up, and on the body. It's really pretty. And yes, from a distance, it does give off Kelly vibes. Here it is in the pink color. Here it is up close in the black. It's a really nice bag for $648 in this petite size that would hold all your essentials if you don't carry a lot. I think it's very comparable to the $4,000 plus um, Fendi Mini Peekaboo. Finally, the last item I want to share is from Hermes, and it's this beautiful Kelly belt that I got last year. I featured this recently in a video titled Top Luxury Purchases of 2021. This is definitely one of the top. It is absolutely gorgeous leather with the white contrast stitching. It has the shiny rose gold hardware, but my favorite part of this belt is the fact that it is one size fits all, meaning that you can adjust this by pulling it and pushing it so that you can wear this either really tight to cinch your waist, you can wear it a little looser, you can wear it high up or lower, depending on what your outfits are, dresses, skirts, jeans, whatever. So it's very, very versatile. And if you were to lose a little bit of weight or gain a little bit of weight, it wouldn't matter because you can easily adjust it. So this is why it is my favorite belt. And when I featured this in my recent video, one of my lovely subbies, Jen, I hope you're watching, she commented and said she's going to hunt down 
a more affordable alternative. And then she let me know what she found and I have to share because it's such a good alternative. And it's also premium, high quality designer brand. It's Mulberry. I think many of you are familiar with Mulberry. It's a uh, UK, England based brand. I've actually been very curious about this brand and have been eyeing some of their handbags, but I am going to resist the temptation for a while. But the leather looks really, really nice. And I've uh, heard from a lot of you that you own some of the totes. And it's just really high quality. This one here is called the Darley Belt. And this one happens to be in the oak color, which very much matches like that caramelly brown like this. And you can see the price here. It's $275, which is very reasonable for a leather belt. The Hermes Kelly belt, however, is a little bit higher in price. It was $890 when I purchased it. So, you know, this is definitely a better deal. And it has the same feature. It is adjustable from the back. If you can see, you can cinch the waist. I don't know if I can. Let me hold it up, actually. And it has that little lock in the front. I think it looks so classy. And it's just such a good alternative comes in black gray let me see here green so many different colors yeah see here this is like kind of looks like an ox blood color very very pretty so definitely check out mulberry if you're interested in a belt like this and you don't want to spend too much at hermes Okay, those are all the items that I wanted to share with you today. I hope it was helpful if you are interested in designer alternatives that are more affordable and more accessible. And I wanted to leave this number with you as food for thought. So I did some quick math and I totaled up the price differences for each of the items from the high-end designer versus the alternative. And in total, if hypothetically we were to purchase all of the alternatives instead of the high-end designer items, we would be saving $10,480 roughly not including taxes if you add on taxes it would be over eleven thousand dollars depending on where you are so i thought that would be kind of interesting to look at now i'm not encouraging you to all go out and just buy all the alternatives only if you've been looking for an alternative if you've been searching for something because for whatever reason you can't or don't want to get the high-end designer ones with the higher sticker prices so again hope this video was helpful please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you enjoy this type of content i would love for you to subscribe see you all next time Bye bye